Good morning guys, it is Sunday the 11th of June and since you guys seem to like the last day in the life of a research student video I thought I would make another one. Um, so I'm just heading off to the station now, it's 9 o'clock. I'm going to meet my friend Jack and we're going to head to the labs and he's also on my course so I'll probably get him to say a few words and also meet my other friend who's a PhD student but did this course two years ago. See you then. Look who I found! This is Jack! Uh, we are going to go to, going to go to Waterloo and I have got breakfast because that's how I bribe people to help me on weekends. Breakfast. Breakfast. Yeah, brioche and juice. What did I say? Did I say breakfast? Breakfast. Brioche and juice. Packed bacon and eggs. It's in here. <laughs> This campus is definitely the best guys campus. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys something a little bit sad. If you've seen already in the news, um, the London Bridge attacks, um, these are some of the flowers that people have left, which kind of sucks. I think I spot Felix. Let's try and catch him. Guys, this is Felix. Felix, would you like to say hi? Hi. Hello. Um, I'll probably ask you some questions about PhD and research assistant and course stuff later. Is that okay? Yeah, this is probably the first time you'll ever see me in the morning smiling. <laughs> <laughs> He's had his coffee. Yeah. I've just had the realisation that in my haste this morning, I forgot to pick up my card. So now I'm going to try and go to security and see if they'll let me in. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go home and it's going to be an hour long trip there and back. Okay, so security managed to let me in, so I picked up my samples and Jack was kind enough to escort me into this building because they would have asked for ID, wouldn't they? Just pretend to be somebody else. Not pretending to be someone else. <laughs> okay, so I'm waiting to put my samples to defrost on ice and in the meantime, I brought, I, like I said, I brought breakfast to um, kind of persuade him <laughs> to get yeah, up this... That smells good. What smells good? Breakfast. Is that breakfast? I don't know. That's that's kind of brioche and juice out. So I'm hungry. I'm probably just smelling things. <laughs> probably. Okay, so we're just gonna have breakfast now while my samples defrost, and I will give you a little bit of a tour of the lab. And once he wakes up, I'll get him to talk about. Uh, <laughs> I'll get him to talk about his experience as a research assistant, a PhD student, and a prior Emra's student as well. Look at you. Check you out, Felix, with all your credentials. <laughs> <laughs> Saying she's just pulling. Oh my god, look at that accuracy. Wow. Wow, look look at that evenness. Damn it. Wow. No wonder your experiments are so good. Do you point exosomes like that? Shut up. Felix, wow. stop it. So I think it is what time is it, Felix? It's around 12. Yeah. Okay, so it's around 12 and I completely lost track of time because I was having to catch up with this one. But my samples that were um, on ice defrosted and now because I'm doing ultra centrifugation you have to weigh them out really carefully because the machine is very sensitive to being unbalanced. So I have just weighed each one of them out so every tube contains the same amount of sample and now we're going to go upstairs, <laughs> Felix is laughing at me, we are going to go upstairs and start the ultra centrifuge. And also, because I'm an MRS student, I can't use it alone because it's a very, very dangerous piece of equipment and I'll get Felix to explain why when we're upstairs. See you then. Okay guys, so this is the Beckman Ultra Centrifuge and... at the same speed, sorry. Yes, still spinning at the same speed. Um, so we're just logging it in. There are my samples. Should we put it in first and then you can answer the questions as to why it's so dangerous? Yeah, do you want to do the mean putting in thing? Yes. Um, okay, so this is the rotor um, inside the centrifuge. Oh, actually, Felix, do you want to show what it looks like? Pull it out a bit. So this is what it looks like. Um, and this spins very fast. Felix will tell you the numbers. How fast does it spin? It's basically faster than the rotation of the Earth. 
which is why it's so dangerous and which is why I had to weigh these out perfectly so that they all weigh the same because if the centrifuge is very slightly balanced there is a good chance of it exploding basically so this is one of the fav like our favorite things to do um, and when you put it in this it just slides it So once the tubes are in, and it's the most satisfying thing ever, just watching the tube slide in, then you tighten it up. So you tighten it up, and once that is done, uh, we will need to put on the vacuum. And that will take about first 10 minutes, and then we can get it started. And this is going to be spinning for two hours, in which time me and Felix are going to go and have a coffee. and after me and Felix got lunch we um, took out the tubes that were in there for two hours and because I do two lots of two hour spins I basically prepared the tubes again and I'm spinning them for another two hours but in the meantime I thought it would be a good opportunity to get this guy to talk a little bit about his experiences because you know it might be useful for you guys do you want to start off and tell them what degree you did first as your undergraduate and how you found this masters and then tell them what you're currently doing uh... Right, I actually started my undergraduate in accounting and finance, hated it, changed to biomedical science, um, and actually loved it. Uh, so that was 2008, um, and then after two years, I, 2009 actually, after two years, mm -hmm. I found uh, cancer research as one of the module, and I really wanted to do it, so I got a eight months experience in the Royal Surrey County Hospital both shadowing a doctor and doing a clinical research project um, and that was when I met with patients and also got to work with data uh, and that's when I realized I want to do research as a career in general and that's when um, you did this course wasn't it? no actually I, I took a gap I took oh, a yeah, gap year yeah. um, I in the cat cafe gap year um, lady diners um, and then I um, saved up money to pay for this masters um, Afterwards, I work for a year, basically as a volunteer, in the same lab. That's dedication um, right there, guys. Like, dedication. Um, <laughs> and then one more year as a research assistant, which is what I'm doing now. And I will soon move on to my PhD in September. <laughs> so, thank you. So, when you were doing this current Masters, um, how did you find it? Because a few people who I've spoken to, they say that it is quite intense. I think it's intense. I think it's very intense. And for any of you guys who watched my last video, when I showed that video to some of, some of the people who are on the course, they were saying that it's you, so you need to make it sound a bit more realistic, because you sound you made it sound like it's like great, which it is, but it's also rubbish at times, isn't it? The word intense is an understatement for this course. Mm -hmm. To give it a brief statement, uh, a brief example, normal masters at this caliber requires two years and one project which you don't need to publish. Mm -hmm. And that is high-end Cambridge, Oxford level. Mm -hmm. This MRES is what they shrink into two years into one year, expecting you, you to do double the number of projects mm -hmm. and at publishable quality. Yeah. Now, Hence being here on a Sunday, right? Yes, exactly. Um, hashtag MRES. <laughs> um, but yes, this course is unrealistically difficult, but if you can survive this, that is how yeah. you do really great. Outputs. I completely agree. This is one of those kind of things that really makes or breaks you. And I feel like it's similar in a PhD in the sense that PhDs just require a lot more intensity. Um, but this is just something else. But it, like I said, it's it will like make a or break you. It and is, it's yes. Right. It's like a mini PhD, except you, you do two projects. So if you want to basically get the most out of your time and money in one year and just, it's going to be difficult. Um, but I mean, he survived. I survived my first rotation and hopefully I do okay my second one. So just a little bit of an inside. 
thank you for that. And also, I think me and him are going to film a more extensive Q&A. So if you are interested in that, then that video should be coming up soon. Give Bye me any now. questions if you have them. Yes, leave questions too. Thank you. So Jack is about to show me something cool. Cool science. Cool science. So, I'm not going to do it, so I'll take the camera. Oh? I'm going to give the honours to you. I don't know what I'm doing though. It's alright, they're just putting a powder in a solution. Okay, I'm see. very intrigued. This is a red solution. Okay. Which is not a lie. It's a red powder. <laughs> see that? Uh, no, but we'll take your word for it. You'll see in a minute. But when it comes into contact with this mixture, which mm -hmm. is glycerol, water, and some magic. You look so sleepy, by the way. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to hold the camera. And you're going to put the smallest, weeniest, tiniest pinch. <laughs> I am very scared. Okay. Is this in focus? I think so, yeah. The smallest, weeniest pinch. There's a, there's a red pattern. Oh, now Is it's that in okay? focus. Yep. Then do I have to shake it up after? No, don't shake it. I mean, we will, but... Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh my god, what is happening here? <laughs> I'm so, so intrigued by this. What this is, is a solution we use to weigh down our DNA so we can see it on our gels when we run them. It makes a very pretty little purple solution. Um, I'm honestly <laughs> so impressed. <laughs> you think I grew out of this? It's so cool. It's so pretty. I wonder if Wait, we can... hold on. Oh, wow. And then when you put the lid on and shake it, we'll go a deep purple. Let's try that, eh? Are we ready? <laughs> Science! <laughs> So I might as well do an update since we just... Oh god, I just dropped it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, got it. Might as well. Okay, so it is quarter to six. I'm still waiting for my second uh, batch of exosomes to finish their spins, which are in the ultracentrifuge upstairs. Jack, what are you doing? He's all, I did say, yeah, he's also on the MRES. Do you want to say a few words about the course? The course. It's hard work, but it's so worth it. I think, I think that's the general consensus. Yeah. And guys, there's actually another MRS student as well who is also here working on a Sunday, but mm. she doesn't want to be filmed because... Uh, she's actually a doctor. She is. She's a surgeon. Yeah. So we have a lot of uh, different people on our course. Yes. People from biology backgrounds, mm -hmm. got a couple of doctors, surgeons, got a guy in palliative care. I think Aaron, you met him. Yes, yeah. you met Aaron, the one who spoke in my last Day in a Life for Researcher video and we were saying how there's a big trend now of a lot of doctors going into research because that's the current yeah. trend. So Pruvi, um, she said she will come into another one of my videos in the future, she just said she's not like dressed <laughs> well enough for... Um, <laughs> Most of us are tired. <laughs> Most of us are tired, I'm very tired now. Um, but I think once the spin is done, I can aliquot my sample and put it in a freezer and I can head home. And um, what do you have left to do today? I, well I'm doing a western blot, which you may or may not have heard of. It's a very long, boring protocol, but it's exciting at the end. And I have got to put on some milk with antibodies in. We are going to go and stop it. <laughs> we're going to go and get the tubes out from the centrifuge and as I said I'm going to aliquot them and then I think they're ready to go into the minus 80 freezer and I will keep them until I'm ready to do experiments with them. So today has been an extraction day. So we're preparing to take a selfie. <laughs> Come on, I'm close to the road. Are we gonna get in trouble for this? No. It's Sunday, we're really sleep deprived. Wait, it's a video, it's a video. Go into selfie mode. Okay, so my second spin is finished. Jack and Felix are both here. Um, I need to de vacuum this and then I will show you what I'm gonna do with my samples. Looking good? <laughs> So 
so this was just the way, uh, so it's balanced. This is just PBS. And these are my samples. Now, I didn't explain this in the first spin, but because this spin spins a sample so fast, the tiniest particles, which are exosomes, are actually pelleted at the bottom of this tube. You won't be able to see them because they're very small, but you just have to pray that they're there. <laughs> Otherwise, your experiments fail. So, so what I'm going to do now, Jack, my cameraman would like to follow me. If science doesn't work for me, I can become a cameraman. Exactly. So as you can see, I've put a little marker here because this means that this was the angle that they were putting the, into the rotor, which means the pellet should technically be around this edge. So what you want to do in one swift motion is get rid of the supernatant, like that. And so basically what we'd hope to see, and you probably can't see it, a little pellet here. So what I'm going to go and do it is... might be out of focus, I'm not sure. Oh, oh I just did it. Is it? It's all good. Are we good? Yeah, we're we good? good. Okay, so what I'm going to go and do now is basically resuspend this, which means mix it, and then take this sample, dilute it a little bit, and then put it in lots of different tubes, and then it's ready to be frozen and used in my future experiments. Lovely smiley face. <laughs> So you know how this morning I said that um, I couldn't get into the cancer centre because I'd forgotten my card. My card was in my bag all along. But uh, <laughs> funny, is it? A little bit. So um, I'm just gonna go up and put these in the minus 80 freezer, and then we can head home. Chili. <laughs> Home time. So it is seven o'clock exactly, um, and we are on the train home now. And I'm just going to wrap the video up here, guys, because I've got to go home, finish off a job application. You got forms to finish. I And tomorrow for a week, I will be doing work experience at um, Royal County Surrey Hospital. Royal Surrey County Hospital, that's the one, um, for a week. And I will try and document as much of that as I can, but obviously because it's in the hospital, you know, you've got to be respectful. Um, but for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. Today was a lot more relaxed. I feel like my last video was a bit more professional. But either way, if you enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them below. And I hope you're all having an amazing day. And until next time, take care and I will see you later. Stop it! <laughs>